Hello, preview show time again. We're playing Wigan Athletic at home. Between the sticks will be Simon Eastwood. Well, Eastie, since you're turning, so you put together quite a phenomenal run. How are you finding that? Yeah, I'm happy to be back in, 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 in and around it and in the team. It's um, been a long time. I think it's like a year a year out. And then obviously with the illness to Jack, I got my chance. Um, so yeah, no, it's nice to come back in after a disappointing... Um, obviously when I got dropped, I was, I was struggling a little bit with form, but... As goalkeepers, I say it to many people, it's what, what what happens. Obviously, if you make a couple of mistakes, you get punished, and um, yeah, it's hard to kind of get back your uh, confidence. So sometimes, obviously, like I said, if you get um, brought out of the team and kind of be patient and work hard and train, and obviously you get your chance, it's it's nice to get back in and, and do all right. Yeah, and as a goalkeeper, I suppose once you come back in, you have to hit the, the ground running quickly, don't you? You've, you've done exactly that. Yeah, yeah. You, you wait a long, long time to sometimes get a chance. It's a lot different to outfield players, as you know. That like players can come on for twenty minutes and and do something and then they've got uh, they can play the next game but like I said as keepers it's, it's different but like I said I was out of I was in the team for a long long time four or five years with uh, with no break so to, to have quite a big break what I did um, was strange to be honest but uh, like I said now I'm back in and um, doing okay and then like I said Jack's coming back now so it's, it's great competition whoever plays will be um, it'll be good because like I said I've had a long time out nice to know I can come back and Still do okay, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens when, when Jack comes. Looking back to um, last Saturday against MK, I thought the second half that was almost you know, the, the complete away performance, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was good. I think they're a very, very good team. MK, obviously, I think they'll be there in about at the uh, at the end of the season. Um, so to, to go there and get the three points is is big. Uh, I thought it was very good, yeah, for second half, but. Yeah, we'll see where we are on um, Saturday. Obviously, one of the better teams, definitely in the league, coming to coming to our home ground, and we'll see how we fare against them. Yeah, and then you pop up. What was it? Three minutes to go, make it an absolutely crucial save. What do you remember of that? Yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice. Like I said, football is is, is crazy, really. Especially as a goalkeeper, you can first half is a goal that I probably should save, and I was disappointed with. So you're going at half time, you're a bit you're a bit gutted, but obviously second half you come out and. Yeah, make a, a decent save, so that's nice. But that just shows, like I said, in goalkeeping, you've almost got to keep, um, yeah, keep a level head and not get too disappointed, and not get too, not too, too high or too low. We've got a good bit of momentum behind us uh, going into a, a big game on Saturday against Wigan, who are right up there as well. Yeah, they'll be good. They'll be uh, a good team. We know it's going to be a tough game against them. Um, so. Yeah, we're obviously preparing today. It's been been a bit strange. Everyone's getting changed in the cars this morning because obviously the, the COVID and stuff like that. So it's very strange how it is again. Now it kind of used to be at the start of the, the first lockdown. So it's it's a bit different. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to the game Saturday. Hopefully, big crowd, another big performance. Yeah, hopefully it's um, like a big game and then Portsmouth on uh, on the Boxing Day one. So there's two big games uh, kind of crammed in together uh, over Christmas, which will uh, yeah hopefully we'll get some points.
There's also a big game this week for Oxford United women when they take on Ipswich Town at Court Place Farm on Sunday afternoon. Here's Liam Gilbert. There's no hiding it, Sunday is a massive game for Oxford United women, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Um, obviously, yeah, the calibre of the opposition we're playing against, they haven't lost the game yet. Um, but we'll, we'll be ready for them. Um, they haven't come across us yet, so yeah. let's see how that goes. That's the sort of challenge you like, isn't it? A team that hasn't lost yet. <laughs> exactly the sort yeah, of challenge you absolutely. like. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's a mentality thing for us. And it's if you look at how we've been the last two, three games and the way we've reacted after our last setback, I think we've built up very well, been very professional, and we're, we're in a good place leading into this game. I also look at it, and uh, ignoring the fact someone's reversing a lorry outside the window, uh, I look at it, if you, this is your last game of the year, isn't it? So yeah. compare it to where you were a year ago. Chalk and cheese, this, this club, the women's side of Oxford United is moving forward at some pace now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the, the different conversations we've had, I think it's just sort of picked up on the different progress, the progress we're making as we go on. And I think that's been the mentality since day one, that every week we want to get better, and you might not see that over the course of a four or six week period, but over two, three months, mm. I think that, that tends to be the direction that we're moving in. It, it's obvious, because... Uh, was it four of your youth development players who were out on the pitch on Sunday? Four of them, three of them? Uh, so this se so far this season, four of the development team players yeah. have made their debut for the first team, which, considering the team was put together last year, um, and there was a number of girls who made their debut last year, which haven't featured yet, mm. I think it, it highlights the overall growth of the club and the job that George is doing with the develop George and James, sorry, doing with the development team, that the f players are there, that they're wanting to push the first team players to, well, earn a shirt and we have no issue if you're if you're good enough you'll play doesn't matter about the age you've got some other players but Merrick's coming back after uh, uh, a long-term injury you've got other players desperate to get and you've got proper competition which is I, I guess Carl will say exactly what you need <laughs> it's the perfect headache yeah yeah no it, it's nice to see Mez getting back to, to close to full fitness um, she got player of the match last week uh, which I think has been great for her confidence and she's a fantastic character around the group but it's, it's it, the one thing we really like at the minute is that we don't rely on individuals mm. like it's, it's different goal scorers every week it's different assists every week it's different types of goals we're scoring we're not relying on one or two people or things to happen it's we're, it feels like there's a, a, a good feeling about the, the team and and we're moving forward in the right way. If people want to come along, it'll be cold. It's just before Christmas. <laughs> it'll be cold. But, it'll be cold. Uh, so it's a big game. So come along and get behind. That's the message. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to have the support. Obviously, we're unbeaten at home, and we want that to carry on. And the, whoever comes to watch won't be disappointed because I know they travel very well. Um, so it should be a really good atmosphere, and for us, it hopefully will be a fantastic way to finish the calendar year, and and then we can reassess everything in January. And now the name game that I've been dreading. He's got three names. Here's A-Rod. Yes, there's a lot of arguing because A-Rod says he's Spanish or Tenerifian. <laughs> what's, what's the word, Tenerifian? I don't know, it's Spanish, yeah. It's Spanish. Part of Spain, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I A-Rod <laughs> says he's going to be rubbish at this because all the people in this, this is an easy quiz. Yeah. All these people are called Alex, yeah. Alexandros, Alexan yeah. Alejandro, yeah. Golin, all Rodriguez, the <laughs> all of these, or Al. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I'll give you a clue, there's not many Gorins. Okay. okay? All you have to do is tell me who they are. You, I'm, have, you I'm have a minute. I'm horrendous at it. I'm going to get zero. I'm telling you that. If he gets one, then, viewers, then he's done well. All you yeah. have to do is press down. You have one minute, keep pressing down. Who's that? Uh, Rodriguez, no. Congratulations. One uh, minute. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> now, if you go on. Down. Yeah, down. Oh, this is Michelle ring? Rodriguez. Yeah, she actress. rings a bell. Yeah, she rings a bell, you don't know. Uh, Alex Ferguson. Yes, too, see, you're good. Uh, Alex, ah, she's a scene on 40 TV, I forgot her name. Alex. Uh, Come on. Uh, Alex? Alex. Give <laughs> 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 two points, that's Alex Scott. Alex Scott, that's it. That's it. Uh, don't, don't go near film sets when yeah. he's got a gun. Do you know what? I'm, I, I know the guy, but I just would name some Is it a language barrier? Because language barrier. Language barrier. Language barrier. Language barrier. <laughs> language barrier. Uh, that's Alec Baldwin. you still got uh, two. Alex Rodriguez. Uh, no. Oh, James oh. Rodriguez. Alex uh, Rodriguez. Come on, oh. Rodriguez. Can't you do yeah, Spanish Alex accents? Uh, three. Uh, that's a horrendous. Al Pacino. Oh, three. Pacino. Uh, I've never seen this guy before. Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys. Um, 
the, the um, another Piero. Um, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. It, it, no, uh, not Piero. No, His not, friend. Um, I actually played against him in Australia. Funny you enough. played in the same team as him? No, 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 in the same team against him. I guess same thing, I don't know the name, come on, <laughs> no, I'm bad. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're not helping. Uh, yeah. Alex Del Piero, nice. Yes, that's uh, it. Yes, good. How many has he got, Martin? Uh, Four. Nice, no, you know. That's Alex Jones. How do you know all these names? Because I put them ah, on the screen. Oxide Chamberlain. Alex Oxide Chamberlain, yeah. Uh, no, there's no chance. I will I will pay pay for your flight to Tenerife and back for Christmas if you know who that is. I can't. That's I Alex. Know. Magnada. Alex Hurricane Higgins, the snooker player. Yeah, I can't see that. That's a bloody good see a snooker player. Oh, All right. You got more than zero. I did, I did. How many did he get, Martin? Four, Four. points. Four. 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 It's not bad. Not bad. Who's winning it? Eastie. How many? Ten. Ten? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. I'm going to tell you a secret now. This is about the eighth take at the preview show this week because there's too much information we've got to give you. So should we do the information first? Go on. Right. Wear a mask, look after each other. If you're sitting in your seat or eating or drinking, it's slightly different. But the rules are all on the website. You don't need a COVID passport. Come along, support the use. Is that the crux of the matter? I think that's basically it in a nutshell. Good. It's not down to us to give you medical advice on what you can and can't do at the ground. That's written somewhere else. And last time I looked, you're not fully qualified in medical health. I went to see a doctor once. Uh, uh, did the ointment work? Mm. Um, so when you weren't scratching and itching, how was how's the programme going this week? Oh, surprisingly well actually, considering we through the three of them uh, at the same time. Yeah, yeah. it's so. Christmas deadlines. Oh, yeah. good. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, no, um, we've got a nice little programme for you on Saturday. Uh, interview with Marcus McGuane. Um, story about our trip to Sunderland, which is a long, long way away. And uh, yeah, it is. My off the ball this week uh, is about one of my first heroes at the club, Huey Curran. Um, well, come on, you can tell me about it. You're the club historian. Tell me about Hugh. Hugh, he had two spells with Oxford. The first one very much more successful than the second. Um, he came from uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Scotland international. Uh, top man, great goal scorer. And he's our guest of honour on Saturday. He, he, uh, so make him welcome. Also make welcome. Go and watch the Carl interview I did earlier today where he talks about taking Zach Lewis who's going to walk out onto the pitch with Carl, Mickey's son. Uh, well, I'm going to cry when he does that, so don't look at me when just before we kick off. You mentioned Huey Curran. Yep. Huey Curran features in an interview I did with Les Taylor which will be in the uh, second edition of the Ox magazine. Yeah. When's that going to come? Um, we're hoping it will be on sale just before Christmas, just in time for Christmas I should say, so a great, great present, only a fiver. Um, and it's full of chock, chock full of unique content that you won't find anywhere else, including interviews with John Massinho, who talks a lot about his uh, PFA work as well as playing for Oxford United, of course. Great interview with Sam Long, um, and lots of other content from all the departments around the club, as well as lots of historical content. We look at our goalkeepers that have played for the club. We look at uh, who's your favourite goalkeeper? Oh, Simon Eastwood and Jack Stevens, obviously, and Clive Conley. Kai's Good, and he was a nice interview this week. Yeah. Uh, my all-time favourite is Roy Burton. Anybody who wants to argue, come over here, I'd have a covid distance fight with you because Roy was the best. Are you going to argue with me? Not if we're off a covid distance fight with you, no. Good. Good. Uh, you can come and see the current day goalkeeper, Simon Eastwood, keeping out Wigan. We'll probably put seven past them. Well, we owe them that. Yeah, that wasn't a good day, was it? And that was the we last game before Christmas as well, wasn't it? Shh. Forget that bit of it. We'll see you Saturday.